All right, I know this is going to seem like a really odd thing to want to put in your RV, but if you've ever had to maintain a black tank in an RV, you'll know that uh, getting toilet tissue uh, in there is quite a pain to get cleaned out if it doesn't dissolve properly. Uh, it often doesn't dissolve very well, and it takes a lot of effort and time to fix that and clean that tank out through back flushing and other means. Um, so I've always wanted to try to get a cold water bidet, which, you know, some people may find uncomfortable, but uh, it does the job, into an RV. The problem is the RV toilet, at least the standard one, doesn't really support a lot of the um, standard, um, you know, clip-on or, or screw-on uh, bidets that are available on Amazon and other places. Uh, but what you have to do, and they, essentially they make a toilet for that, um, they make a standard height, standard type RV toilet. I mean, at the top, at least, it's like a standard bowl that you'd have in the house. But in the base, it, it ties in to the RV septic system and mount, just like a standard toilet would. Um, and, of course, the water line that goes to your RV toilet, at least in my RV, um, was a standard one-half inch screw-on and... Uh, fittings and it used a like a rubber PVC pipe that comes out <clears throat> um, well anyways I took the toilet that came with it out put this toilet in and then to actually get the water line to the bidet working uh, what I did was cut the rubber PVC pipe uh, and then actually use PEX fittings now that's a little difficult because that rubber PVC pipe is not quite the size of a one half PEX pipe. Uh, took a little effort, had to kind of rig those on there. Well, not really rig, you just kind of twist them on there. Um, and once you got it up over the rubber and you stuck the half inch barb in on the T adapter, you're just able to use your PEX wrench to get them down. And then I went out with a standard piece of blue PEX to a 3 8 inch water valve which is what the bidet needed so i can actually shut the water off going to the bidet independent of shutting everything else off or the toilet off um, so in the end you get a standard size toilet which is a plus and you get a bidet which will really cut down on paper usage and help you know keep you cleaner and take a closer look here at the plumbing that I did. That's just a standard brass uh, half inch shark bite pec or uh, pex T. Uh, those are standard shark bite pex half inch fittings. They don't quite fit up over the hose. You have to kind of, like I said, get them up there, get them on there. But once that clamps down, they do not leak. I had it run overnight with the water all the way up, high pressure, no pressure reducer whatsoever, got no leaks. So uh, I tried a standard water clamp. It did not work. It leaked pretty bad, um, or st standard hose clamp. But the PEX fittings are super tight, worked really well. I used the half inch um, screw on that came with the RV. Just really just cut the pipe in half, stuck the barb in there, and then went out here to the water valve. So overall, pretty easy. If you've done any work with PEX, um, and not too difficult. I mean, the key is just getting that toilet.